What's up data people? My name is Matthew Heffron and today's quick tutorial is on creating a KPI donut chart. So let's jump right into it. We're connected to the sample superstore. We're going to go ahead and create a new sheet and I created a parameter and two calculations. So let's go over each of those. The first thing I created was this parameter called sales goal. So if we edit this, go ahead and create this, give it a good name, sales goal, the data type will be a float, current value, make it a million, and then hit OK. Next calculation we need is cells to goal. So let's hit edit and create this calculation, cells to goal. And what this is doing is it's taking our parameter cells goal minus the sum of cells. Get that created, hit OK. And then the very last calculation, we'll right click, edit, is percent to goal. And this is taking our cells to goal calculation and dividing it by the sum of cells. Once you have those created, let's build the KPI donut chart. So we'll grab cells, let's drop that on rows. We'll take cells to goal, let's drop that on cells right here. We're gonna change it from automatic to pi. Then we're gonna take measure names, let's drop that on color. Let's take measure values and we'll drop that on angle. Looking good. Next we'll grab category, We'll drop that on columns. Let's go entire view. And what we'll do is right click category and let's uncheck show header. And then we'll hold down the command key, grab category. Let's drop that on label. And text is a little small. So let's click label. Let's change that to 12. We can make it bold. And let's place it on top too. So alignment, top. There we go. Next what we want to do is create that circle in the center, that donut effect. So how do we do that? We can grab number of records, drop that on rows, and we'll right click that and we'll say minimum. Next, we'll grab number of records, drop it on rows, same process, right click, change it from sum to minimum. Next, what we'll do is we'll right click the second min number of records and we will say dual axis. Let's go to this first card. What we want to do is click size and let's increase the size. Let me make it even a little bit bigger. And we'll come to the second card, min number of records. And you can see that it's inside here. We want to pull all this off. So let's just pull all that out. Let's change the color to white, giving us that donut effect. And then we can play around with the sizing, find a size that we like. And that looks pretty good to me. And we'll clean it up. So we'll right click min number of records. Let's uncheck show header. And we also have this little line going across so we can right click, format. Let's go up to lines, grid lines, we'll say none. There we go. And then on the second min number of records, let's put something informative in the center. So we'll grab our percent to goal and drop that on label. Next, let's click label and we'll say to goal. Let's unbold that, click OK. So now we have our nice KPI donut chart. Hope you enjoyed today's quick tutorial.